I'm Ms. Pettit. I'm the Health Related Occupations teacher here at the ISLIP Career Center. In our class, the whole focus is getting your student who's already in our class to be able to work in some type of a healthcare facility, in a long-term care facility, or perhaps an assisted living. In this class, we do a lot of things to get them ready. They're going to learn a lot of skills, getting a patient out of bed, bathing a patient, getting them on and off of a bedpan. The students have actually already started and um, I'm going to bring you inside my classroom in a couple of minutes and we're going to show you that they're already practicing how to change a patient that's in the bed. The whole focus of our year is to get them to feel confident in their skills, is to get them to be able to become employable in any of those fields or possibly even sit for the home health aid test and work in a private duty setting. So come on in the classroom and let's see what we have going on. Welcome to our lab. In this particular classroom, everything in here is set up as a hospital or long-term care facility setting. So when your child comes in here, they're not just learning about how to take care of a person, they're learning all of the medical terminology that goes along with it. This week, this is our third week of school. The students are gonna be learning about all the different things that a uh, patient's gonna need when they come in. Anything from using a bedpan, the things that we use to make a bed, a Foley catheter. So all of this terminology is gonna become a part of their daily language. In here we also, you're gonna see, this particular bed here is gonna be a patient. And we're gonna be able to learn how to take care of the patient using our safety, using proper infection control, and all the things that are needed in order to get employed. The students need to be able to go in when they're interviewing and say, Yes, I know how to weigh a patient. Yes, I know how to get a patient out of bed safely. I've worked with mannequins, but I've also worked with other students in the classroom and learned how to do these things in real life. So the next thing that you're gonna see is one of our students will be acting as a patient and the other student will be the certified nursing assistant and this is the first okay. skill that they've learned. I'll be your nursing assistant today. And what's, what's your, your name? name and date of birth? Garrett, can you tell her your full name and your title? Garrick, and I'm a nursing assistant. Keep going. Mm -hmm. What is your name and date of birth? Yorna Devin. May I check your wrist? Oh, so good. Good. And what are you going to be doing today, Garrett? With her? Um, I'm going to be changing your bed. Um, do you have sh short-term breathing? Because I'm going to hire the bed. So no problems breathing, right? So you feel comfortable laying her down, Garrett? Yep. All right, let's go. Bring her up. And I'm gonna bring her head down as we're going. So now she's gonna be in a good position so that we can continue making the bed and we don't have to worry about turning her. All right, perfect. So as you can see, we're in our very early stages of learning. We have anywhere between 18 and 23 skills that the students are gonna learn. And um, I'm glad you got a chance to look at the classroom. You can see that we're set up like a hospital facility. Um, students are learning everything from infection control all the way down to making their resumes, hopefully going out on an internship, and uh, I think we're going to have a great year. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and give me a call. Thanks.